Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know this is kind of a sudden abrupt one, but honestly, this project in and of itself was abrupt as well. The whole reason stemmed from the fact that I started this thing one weekend and it wouldn't stay running right. So we're gonna dive into it anyways. So the story behind exactly what caused all this to happen was that the carburetor, I think, sucked up something from the tank. It went through the pump and the filter and got into the carb. Um, and it only runs with the choke pretty much halfway to three quarter on and low throttle, nothing really above that. It's like a high sides plug. Basically, it needs clean now. So that's going to be taken care of here in a little bit. And I'm sure you guys can already see the crap sitting inside the air filter that, uh, yeah, that happened from sitting over winter. So. I knew nothing about that, and usually I'm pretty good about checking air filters, but I guess it kind of escaped me on that one. So that could also be a very, very, very good suspect for that, but I mean, either or. You look inside the tank in there, and it's both full of crap, so. I've been meaning to clean it for a while, and there's your reason why. But like I said, I'm sure them two together didn't that finally caught up to me, and I, uh, yeah, don't do what I do. Don't let it sit and brew. One thing I found out while I was tearing it apart... It never really struck me upside the head like a 2x4 hitting a um, watermelon. You poke your head in there, it says March of 92, the first three there. That's the date code for it. This tractor is made in 1991, very late 1991. It's a last production run tractor. And if you come down here, this engine has been short blocked. This is a short block tractor. So apparently at one point it has had a replacement put onto it. All right, I just yanked out all the lines. Those are the two lines for the uh, reserve and main fuel pickup, and then the short one there is for the uh, from the switch up to the carb, or at least in my in my case, up to the pump. We're gonna run to the store tomorrow, get some new fuel on. All righty, so I was just blowing it out with shop here, blowing it off more specifically before I wash it down, because I'll wash the outside down with some water, wash the inside down with water, and. Uh, Make sure you let it sit to get that water out. I'm going to wash the inside, blast it with shop air, and I'm going to let it sit with a cap open and the grommets out for probably like at least 24 hours. I'll check it again, make sure it's dry before I put it back in tomorrow. But yeah, you know how... Uh, so these tractors have a pretty notorious problem of uh, the pickups falling off. Yeah, I flipped it over with the lid off and it just... I'm impressed it even ran at all for that matter. So that's pretty much the entirety of your fuel pickup. You got one over here that's just a regular nipple. It picks up about, I don't know, half a gallon left. And then you got this one that sits there and floats down there. Like a regular fuel pickup, pretty much in any other tank, like a weed eater or something. And it just floats and picks up whatever fuel it can get. And it points towards the far end of the tank. So, anyways, I know, don't wash your tanks with water. I'm fine with it. I'm going to let it dry for a long time. It's going to sit out here and air dry. Might even throw it in the sun and let it boil out a little bit. Boil. I am definitely going to get probably new grommets. See if I can't get some rubber pieces. Went to Deer Napa this morning. And I got all new parts, all new air filter, fuel line, uh, new mower deck belt for that. So the mower deck will be functional again, which will be nice because that's a really nice cutting deck. And I really want to have that one back. Two filters. I'm going to put one pre and post pump so I don't kill that pump because I'd prefer if I didn't. Extra filtration because in case I didn't get something out of that tank, which he's going to air dry and bake in the sun, get the rest of that water out because it didn't dry completely. So I'm going to wait a little longer. Uh, got new grommets from Deer. Put them on. The actual pickups are okay. I blew them out. They're fine. All right, so I got it. everybody mocked up besides the tank. I got the uh, fuel filter in. We got two of them, post and pre, as you can see. And I've made it to where I have enough extra in here. If I want to, I can delete this filter and this hose and just pull it up, hook it right to the pump. I have all lines hooked up on there. I took the selector valve out and cleaned off the nipples because there was a bunch of dried rubber on there. So I cleaned that out, put it back in the panel, um hook them up so right side one there is my main pickup which it's like that on the tank it corresponds right side's main fuel pickup left side is your reserve there's a little actually there's a little dip in this tank i didn't know about because i thought it just twisted around and came up here and grabbed something but there's a little dip right there in that tank where the reserve line goes down 
and that's the lowest point where your gas is going to sit so that's where all your crap's going to contaminate and settle down into but anyways it's sitting and roasting because it's got a little water left in it um well i know you guys probably wanted to see me starting it up but i was kind of ironing out some issues the uh, carburetor's float was actually stuck which was causing this whole the whole surging issue i just literally took my ratchet banged on it on the side a couple times and she came right back around i totally forgot about that trick and then it's like whoops tink done but yeah it's got all new fuel lines all the way up there filters are nice and clean tank's been flushed it runs good no smoking all right so the mower deck is off and of course if you don't have a loader tractor at your disposal to lift it up it's pretty easy honestly you just get your jack stand pick it up about six inches on the front and you can slide it out underneath them pretty easily uh this mower deck is actually i'm get i must be getting used to taking these on and off real quick because i get this off within five minutes pretty much all you do the secret to it is undo your back arm so you can move the deck undo your front arm and then you can move all the deck and then you just undo your pto and it slides right out and back lift tractor pull it out from underneath just do the exact inverse when you go back in well i done messed up i totally forgot to film a little bit before i started putting it back together but pretty much how it went down is a power wash tick got all the big crap off there and just knocked down so it was nice and clean again or as clean as an old tractor is going to get at least i threw all the sheet metal back on i ran it for a while no leaks everything runs works fine i mean i've been running around as you can see for a while now and nothing's really happened it hasn't it hasn't stalled on me or anything like that i've suddenly i somehow gained the magic ability though which i've always had this ability and i lost the bolt on the back there for the side panel on the other side of the machine so if you open the hood she just kind of opens for you so it's ready to service already so i mean you're good to go but other than that yeah it's ready to go uh, i left the mower deck off it's got the new belt put on it though but i left it off because uh, my dad wants to use this for garden work and of course the clearance on this isn't very good with the 60 inch deck I'm not really sure why but i don't know not my forte to answer that one but anyways It's obviously getting nighttime, and the camera on the iPhone's at half view. It is not very good, so. There you go. Runs and drives, does what it needs to.